in sample exercise 1.8, uh, we're going to have to convert two units. So in, in this case, they say, all right, if you start off with 515 uh, meters per second, can you convert that to miles per hour? All right, so if we start off with 515 meters, that's like meters per one second. Now we just have to convert two units, uh, meters to kilometers, and then seconds to hours. So we want to map that out. Can we map that out a little bit? We know um, that it's sort of what meters to meters to kilometers and kilometers to miles. So we have to go from meters. We know that there are a thousand meters and one kilometer. And now we also know we have this conversion here that there there's a 1.6093 kilometers in one mile. All right, so that will get us from meters to miles. So we go meters to kilometers, kilometers to miles. And then if we want to go from seconds to hours, you would know how many seconds there are in an hour. Uh, there are, we can go through minutes, right? There are 60 seconds in one minute, and there are 60 minutes in one hour. So this is our set of conversion factors, right? This is the same, you know, thousand meters, one kilometer, we're going to turn it into uh, a fraction over here. Um, so you, you pick one, whichever one you want. Do you want to start with meters? Or do you want to start with seconds? Let's, let's start with meters since uh, it's on top and that's how we're kind of used to doing it. And then the seconds on the bottom, um, we'll have to put seconds on top in order to get it to cancel. So if I'm so ignore the seconds for a second, we're just going to treat the meters all by, the, by itself. So if I have meters here and I want to get to miles, I said I'm going to go from meters to kilometers and kilometers to miles. So it's going to take me two steps. If I have meters on top, I'm going to put meters on the bottom. So I have a thousand meters on the bottom, and I have one kilometer on top. And then what am I going to do? Now I want to go, I want until my meters cancel, right? I ignore these meters. Meters are gone. Now I have kilometers on top. I'm going to put kilometers on bottom in order to get that to cancel. So I have 1.6093 kilometers on the bottom and one mile on top. One mile. There we go. One mile on top. So I was able to convert from meters to miles. Now to get to seconds, I want to get rid of my seconds. So I have seconds on the bottom, which means in order to get it to cancel, I have to put seconds on, on the top. Now, don't freak out that, that, they're, that I'm not writing them right next to each other. As long as seconds are somewhere on the bottom here, if I put them somewhere on the top up here, they're going to cancel. Um, so I'm going to have 60 seconds up on top because that's where I'm trying to go. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of those, so my seconds get 60 seconds in one minute. And then I have minutes. I know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And now everything should cancel. My seconds cancel those seconds. My minutes cancel those minutes, and my hours are here. So I should end up with miles per hour. Now how do I put that into my calculator? Um, so I'm going to do everything on top. And then I'm going to do everything on the bottom, and then I'm going to take the top number over the bottom number and get my answer. So I'm going to have 515 right, times 1 kilometer, and then I have 1 from the miles, and then 60 seconds and 60 minutes. So I'm going to work all that out, get a number, uh, and put that number here, and then do the same thing on the bottom. You have 1, and then 1,000, and then 1.60. Nine, three, and then another one. You could ignore the ones. Anything times one is just going to be itself. So get a number for the top. Get a number for the bottom. I don't have those worked out. I just have the final answer here. Uh, when you do that, you get 1.15 times 10 to the 3. So that's 1.15 times 10 to the 3. And your units are miles per hour. Miles over hours. All right. All right. Now for the second problem, that was one, sample exercise 1.9. Uh, they say the Earth's oceans uh, ocean contains approximately uh, 1.36 times 10 to the 18 uh, meters cubed of water. Calculate the volume in milliliters. All right. Well, I don't know a, a direct conversion, but I know that one milliliter is the same as one centimeter cubed. Remember, I need 50 cc stats. So centimeters cubed, that's your cc's, that's one milliliter. So one centimeter cubed is one milliliter. I can derive another equation. I can derive another conversion factor. I know that one meter 
is the same as 100 centimeters. So that's what it is in one dimension, right? I want it in three dimensions. I don't want a length, I want a volume. So if I cube this side and I cube this side, I can get to centimeters cubed. So now I have a new conversion factor. I know that one meter cubed is the th same thing as 100 times 100 times 100, right? That's 100 cubed centimeters cubed. And now I can go from meters cubed to centimeters cubed and then centimeters cubed to milliliters. So I can kind of derive my own conversion factor here. I think there's one homework problem where you might have to do that. That's kind of an advanced move, but I think it's uh, worthwhile to show you. So we have 1.38 times 10 to the 18 meters cubed. And now I'm gonna apply my meet one meter cubed down here is 100 cubed centimeters cubed. Now make sure when you put that in your calculator, you don't do anything weird like times 10 to, to the raised to the three. It's that caret button. You're gonna you're in your calculator. You're gonna have 100, and then you have like that caret three. That's how you cube something. Uh, let's see. So 100 cubed centimeters cubed. Uh, one centimeter cubed is the same thing as one milliliter. So you're gonna have 1.36 times 10 to the 18th times 10. Or times, sorry, 100 cubed, everything else is divided by 1, so you don't have to worry about it. So you should end up with 1.36 times 10 to the 24 um, milliliters. Now, if you didn't get that and you're having some calculator errors, uh, ca calculator issues, uh, let me know in class and we can we can settle those before, before class, definitely before you take the quiz. So work on the homework, and, uh, and that finishes up chapter 1.